everybody. You're tuned into another episode of You Got Issues. My name is Adina Different, and this is the show that's all about you. Now, here's how this works. You send us some questions, I bring in some friends, and with their help, we go through your questions and give you what I would say is pretty solid advice. Now, we don't claim to have all the answers, but sometimes that solution you're looking for may just come from a fresh perspective. So let's talk about it. <music> The world is changing a lot, and nowadays, no matter what industry you're in, whether it's entertainment, it's legal, or it's even medicine, a lot of people are talking about your personal brand. Social media has changed not only the way we interact, but also the way we do business. And you may be the best in your field, but nowadays, if no one knows what you do, you could be losing opportunities to somebody who's more out there or more vocal than you. So today, we're talking about all things public relations and marketing. And to answer your questions, I have my two friends here with me. We have BB and AJ. Welcome Hi, to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Can you tell them a bit more about what you do? Hi, my name is Beatrix NAJ, but then for the ease and flow of life for the rest of you, just come with <laughs> <laughs> I'm a public relations consultant, and I have a core focus in personal branding and corporate branding. Thanks for coming. Thank you. And we also have Kaka. Welcome to the show. Can you tell them about what you, you do? Um, my name is Kafila Tsalisu, but again, for branding purpose, I go by Kaka. I'm a lifestyle publicist and experiential marketing adept. Only friends call them Kaka and BP, so get to know. <laughs> All right, let's get into the questions. So our first question is, what is the difference between branding, marketing, and public relations? You know, a lot of people mix the functions of each of them together. Right. So when we started working in PR, when I started working in PR, we would always argue, oh, no, we're not marketing. We're not, <laughs> we're not marketing. I don't do marketing. I do public relations. And then your clients will be like, what is public relations? Mm -hmm. So basically, let's start from marketing. Marketing is basically promoting a service, um, a product, you know, to sell. Public relations, advertising, branding are all functions of marketing. Mm. So basically, you want to build um, awareness about your brand. You want people to like your brand and you want people to trust your brand. It's, it's, it's basic, no like trust. So all of these tools help um, people to get to know your brand, mm -hmm. to like your brand, and then to trust your brand. So public relations basically helps you to build relationships with your consumers, with your target audience, with your stakeholders, with your internal communications, or with your internal team. Basically, it helps you to build that relationship. Branding helps people to remember you. <laughs> you have to be memorable, mm -hmm. you know. So branding helps people to remember you. Advertising puts all of this out there for mm. people to then see. But at the end of the day, the core function of a business is to sell and make profit. Which is the umbrella of marketing. Everything. Lovely. That was perfectly said. Thank Do you. Do you have anything to add, Kaka? Um, for me, in the layman terms, or how I like to simplify it, um, public relations is what people say about you. So you can define yourself in a certain way, but if people don't perceive you, perception is key. Mm -hmm. If they don't take it that way and they don't even understand what you're trying to communicate, then there's a problem, and that's the solution public relations gives. Nice. So for the person who asked this question, if they want to hire someone as a part of their team, you know, build up their personal brand, what would you advise they do first? Would you say PR? Would you say marketing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> would you say you can't separate? Stop asking me these things. <laughs> well, I think that public relations is important and many of us advocate for it to be the top at the top of the food chain when it comes to any marketing plan okay right um and it, there's somebody who keeps quoting this uh, one of my big sisters in the industry she keeps saying bill gates said if i had one dollar i would spend it on public relations because guess what perception is stronger than reality in today's world true and she says it everywhere she goes and that's the truth so i believe that if you're looking to hire i think that you should be concerned about how you're going to position your brand whatever it is to the public. So I guess public relations gets the upper hand. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Makes some sense. Thank you so much. All right, the next question is, I want to build my business, but people ask me to build my personal brand to align with my business, but I want my brand to flourish without involving myself. This is so real. <laughs> what would you say? Um, this is something I personally struggle with because, again, you know the term, let my work speak for me. Um, the work will speak for you. It will take you in places. But what opens the door these days is literally who you are. Yeah. Um, certain industries do not necessarily need your name, your quality, your perception again. There are brands that we don't necessarily know um, who is behind it, but then there's a perception. 
um, there's, there's an emotional connection to the brand. And I think if you don't want to show your face or create a perception to the brand that is quite um, emotional, mm -hmm. that is quite... Um, that is quite out there and easy to remember. Mm -hmm. So it, it can be curated, basically. Makes sense. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's fake. <laughs> really, because when we say it can be curated, doesn't necessarily mean we're taking you out of your original self or your original values of your brand. We're only telling you that if you're not, if you're not so interested in building your own personal brand, you have to create a persona for that business that people can connect to. It's almost like an alter ego. Yeah. So we have two PR experts in the room. I'm going to tap their brain for free. <laughs> so what are some clear strategies that somebody can implement today to build their personal brand? So the world has become a very simple global village mm -hmm. and you have many tools um, available to you today. And I feel like, first of all, know your story. You need yeah. to understand what you want the world to know about you. And then you need to take advantage of the things that are available to you e.g. social media. So please, those of you that say, oh, I'm not into Instagram, I'm not into Facebook, sorry dear, we're into you, please come outside. <laughs> yeah, so make use of social media. Um, get amazing pictures taken, please. It's, it's necessary, you know. Like, we're not vain. Those of us that like fine pictures, we're not vain. It's packaging, yes, but it, it helps at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So these are well, some strategies, but please pay me if you want more. <laughs> Don't worry, I got more for you. <laughs> Oh, Jared, Kaka. Um, for me, know yourself. Know the exact story you want to curate. Um, some people think it's fake life, but then if you're faking it, let it be true to yourself to an extent because of longevity. You don't want to start something that you can't finish. And then when you get halfway, then there's a problem. You can't keep up. So even if you're in quotes, you're not faking it. We know that you cure. I use the word curating it. Let it be something that's substantial enough that can take you over the years. So you're not faking, you're just amplifying who you already are. Word. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. How can a brand make lasting impacts that can weather any storm irrespective of daily competition? <sighs> so your brand story, your brand story is very important. We're in a we're in a day and age where everybody's talking, everybody's saying something and everybody has a platform to say something and it's free <laughs> you don't have to pay um so you have to have a unique story or a unique perspective mm. of a story that you want to tell through your brand you have to be open-minded and innovative because every day new things are coming up so you, you can't be that person that says ah, the AI is for the young youngins, <laughs> or Instagram is not for my type of business, or, oh, I can't dance on TikTok. You don't have to dance on TikTok. You have to be able to be open-minded and to, uh, you know, take advantage of the things that are coming up, the people who are growing in this. Don't look at anybody. Um, for me, we're in an era where emotions are very heightened. Um, understand the concept of behavioral pattern understand the concept of diversification and diversity basically um implement all of those things into what you're doing mm -hmm. i understand where certain people are not your target audience but if they're not your target audience you don't necessarily have to offend them mm -hmm. so you have to thread carefully be open to change you can decide to change your entire story it's fine how you do it is what matters mm -hmm. um, and definitely what what people do five years ago ten years ago our response to brands to products has changed um, we buy more into the story we buy more into the quality we can like your packaging we like go back if you're quite if your quality and customer service I think now even in the hospitality industry we I don't think people used to complain about customer service and things like that as much as people do now. Yeah. So pay attention to the behavioral pattern. And as, as, more, as long as you key into the emotions, it should be fine. We love it. Thank you guys for coming, honestly. <laughs> you. you can find me on Instagram at Vinadino Different. This has been You Got Issues on Spice TV. You can follow up what we do all over social media platforms at Spice TV Africa. If you have a question that you'd like to send in, send us a DM and use the hashtag YGI. All right, guys. Thanks for chilling with us. We'll see you next time. Bye.